So this world is really starting to look great. I've built every biome, collected every block, and transformed this amazing cat. <coughs> so instead of building just a new portal, I'm gonna transform this whole place into the nether. Because it's not an easy video unless I do something that takes way too long. Like for example, removing this entire mountainside and replacing all this water with lava and changing everything to netherrack and you know what, let's just begin. I need to stop starting my videos like this. <laughs> Basically, the reason I'm doing this massive tu well, it's not a tunnel, it's actually like half the mountainside is gonna be removed. So I'm gonna open all of this up and then we're gonna have like a big nether fortress bridge going out towards the outside. And the nether area is gonna kind of like infect the overworld almost. It's not just gonna be contained to the cave. What the, where exact, where did you come? There we go, that's opened it up quite a lot more. There's gonna be a cool bridge going across the water, well, the lava, as I said, I'm gonna replace it with lava. Same thing over there, we're gonna have like striders and stuff, nether rack and the different nether biomes, and this build is gonna require a lot of talent for someone that sucks at building. Should be interesting to see what I come up with. But yeah, the first step to this massive thing is removing all of this. It is all opened up now, however, I do need to do a bit of nether racking. that's not a word, so that I can see what it looks like and then keep transforming based on that. I just need a bit of a smoother transition to the outside than just this, you know, you get that explanation? <laughs> And as I said, I want to build some kind of nether fortress type thing. So this is kind of what it looks like. It's obviously five blocks wide with one of them on each edge being the fence type thing. The pillars look very wide as well. How wide are these? One, two, three, four, five, six. This way they are one, two, three, four, five. No one's going to know what this looks like from the inside. It's fine. <laughs> That pillar takes up a lot of space. Maybe we just push the pillar inside more. Okay, well, there we go. Except uh, fences, pop them there. There we go. So we've got the outside area of the bridges complete. Here's this pillar that'll go into the lava. That'll look pretty cool. And then I need to do the other two pillars. Even got this end here looking roughed up just like the real thing. <laughs> I'm so good at building. And then in here, we can have a secret little room. I don't know exactly what I would put in here, but there, there's that. And now I can use this bridge to make the rest of the wall look better. So I'm gonna do that. Down the bottom here on this side, we'll have another pillar, kind of like that one in the cave. And then later on, we'll obviously sprinkle in tons of like gold and quartz and probably a few blocks of uh, ancient debris as well. There we go. The wall is looking a lot better. That part right there needs a couple more blocks. And then what if I get creative here and pretend like this fortress has been kind of like taken over by the illness of the netherrack or... S uh, it's gonna look stupid. No, no, you know what? I'm not. Now I'm just gonna quickly replace a lot of this with netherrack here. Because I feel like I've said this before, but obviously there's a lot of trial and error. You have to kind of see what it looks like to then adjust what it looks like. Does that make sense? Actually, since the walls and a lot of this in here are slash is going to be netherrack, I could do the warped and crimson biomes out here. All right, so I've got my shulker box and we are off to collect the blocks. I need some of these. I'm gonna attempt to get like four stacks of the Nylium, I think. Need some weeping vines. Get the warped stuff as well. I have an odd feeling no matter how much I get, it will not be enough. Yep. Would you believe this is five stacks of blocks here? What the? And 
and there we go. Obviously, it's not perfect, and it's not going to be for a little while, but we could add a little bit of some, like, raised parts, so we can make the place look like it has a bit more texture. Have some trees here, one there, one here, maybe... Maybe even another one right here. Then have like a little path leading right through there. Plenty of these uh, crimson roots all over. You know what? Why don't I just do that? That's way better. <laughs> Something like that. And then on this side, we really quickly... What? Why? Not that there has to be a reason or anything, but... Ah, I ruined my transition. Again, thanks a lot, guys. Now I can say we just need to do this. Which looks pretty cool. Again, it's not finalized. It's still a bit rough because we're just getting a feel for what it'll be like. So if I start bone mealing, bone meal a couple of these. One there. One there. Whoa. Another one here. Nice. One here. Okay. Nice. Looking pretty good. Except... That looks really small and stupid. Okay, it's gonna look crazy at the end of the video, I promise. Stop the cap! <laughs> oh no. The inside is where it's gonna look very, very cool. Like, all of this is lava, which is the next step, by the way. Oh man. First thing to do is to just mark out the perimeter of this place, like so. Ow. So that then I can differentiate the stone that I put one layer down, because that's where the lava is gonna go, is on top of the stone. Because I'm not doing the whole lake. I'm just doing the top layer, because that would take weeks. All right, there we go. Now, after you get out of here, I need to go grab my sponges. They're just... The <sighs> we will do some dirt layers like this, and like this, and like this. Now we place these sponge blocks down. That should hopefully drain this pretty nicely. Boom. So there's the easy part done. Now begins the ridiculously tough part. <sighs> okay, here we go. I do have a lava farm with lots of lava. Right up. Okay, not that much actually. Now we have lots of la- this is like 5% of what I need, probably. My prediction is I'm going to fill up, like, this here, and that's it. Is that- there has to be a better way to do this, right? There has to be. What? Why would you- why did you just do that? It's really difficult to see which spots you have filled in and which ones you haven't. Oh, yeah, see, I've already done that one. I uh, didn't know that. Sorry. That's okay. How did I fill it with lava? They said it'll be fun. They s I'm the one that said that. <laughs> Boom. Okay, hang on. Now it's just a game of back and forth. And that's it for the lava that I have on me. We filled up a little decent part here, but if we're going to do all of this... Um, I should probably do more buckets per trip. So I've got four shelter boxes and plenty of buckets in there that hopefully should be enough. Let's get this done. <sighs> Brilliant. Man, there has to be a better way to do this. Hmm. Alright, what if instead of randomly just placing it everywhere like that, I could maybe do a dirt bridge every two blocks like this, and then I can just place the lava there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and then I go all the way down, like so, right? And then I can do the same thing on the other side. I think I'm onto something here. Alright, let me get some more dirt and let's get to it. I'm actually really excited. This looks like it's good. Well, it doesn't prevent you from needing more lava, but it is 10 times easier. I don't- why- why was I doing what I was doing earlier? I don't have space in my inventory.
Almost done. Here we are. It is pretty much all done. Apart from this one spot right here. There we go. Every single spot here is full of lava. Ah, that did not take forever at all. Okay, so this is what I've done so far, and I've decided that here is going to be a soul sand valley kind of area leading up to the portal. And you know how there's those big bone areas lying around in the soul sand valley? I'm going to create something like that, but instead of just it being a showpiece, it's actually going to be a bridge leading up to there. That is genius. Let's try that out real quick. Uh, no, stop it. Collect some of these. Actually, probably I'm gonna need. Well, let's be real. This is Minecraft. I'm gonna need more than what I think I am. Did I say that right? So I'm gonna try and go for about three stacks, I think. Oh, that guy's wall hacking for sure. Need to also collect some soul soil and soul sand. This is, I'm so slow. And then I didn't actually know this, but you've got plenty of these in this biome as well. Considering I already have some, I don't need to collect them. So I'm just gonna... Okay, so the bridge is gonna start from, let's say about here. So down here can be the soul sand because I'm never gonna really walk on here. Should probably add some texture to the place with some soul soil. Make it look a little bit nicer. Just keep talking because then it looks like you know what you're doing. But in reality, you have no clue what's going on. I've encountered a bit of a ro How am I going to do that up there? <laughs> I think I'm going to need to mark out the actual ceiling first. And I think right there is a good spot to make it the cutoff point. So this feels really weird. I actually do feel like a construction worker right now. <laughs> What is with the bats and flying into the lava in this video? I don't, I, I don't get it. Okay, there we go. I think we've got it all connected. Now I need to decide where it's going to end on this side near the portal. And then I try and somewhat replicate what's down there up here. Actually, wait. Hang on. I'm outlining this for no reason. I mean, all this whole wall and ceiling here needs to be turned into... I'm an idiot. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. I missed. So, all right. I'm going to get to work. And there we are. I'm really happy with the way this has turned out. It does look like a mess, but what are you going to do? Now I need to try and put some of the bones down. So I've made that shape there, which is the most normal looking one. There's that one. And then there's this big one, which I think looks kind of cool. And then right here going up there, we are going to have a basalt pillar because I feel like there's basalt pillars in the Soul Sand Valley, right? So let's do that. Oh, no, 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 no. Hey, what? I do actually need to build this biome in the project, so I'm going to need to collect a lot of this. Let's see what we can do. Try and face them in different directions. Pillar it up as usual. Oh, well, it's a pillar, so I'm trying to make it look as natural as possible. How does this look? Mm, should probably add a bit more, I think. Yeah, that looks a bit better. I really need soul speed on these. You know what? Matter of fact, why don't I just go get it? Did we? Yes, perfect. If I should probably keep moving. Let's grab a flint and steel and start lighting this place on fire. We'll have like little portions that have more fire than others. Wow. Now we're finally going to do the bone bridge from, I'd say, right here to up there. Let's see how this looks. Okay, this FOVs make it... What? Uh I'm gonna throw up. Okay, it's looking pretty good. Definitely need to um, thicken it up a bit. And for the slabs, I think I'm gonna use quartz here because it kind of matches up nicely, somewhat. Let's see if this works out as nicely as I'd hoped. This is a bit too uniform. Hang on, gotta change that up. There we go. Looks pretty good, except for the fact that I need to add some of these here. There we go, we've got some of those. We need some at the bottom as well, and I am out of bone blocks. Good thing I have a bridge leading up to my nether port. <laughs> Tell you what, running around a soul sand valley now doesn't actually feel like a chore. Wow, this is actually 
Dude, I'm really impressed with this. And once all of this is nether, this whole part of the cave, this is... And the portal. Oh, man. This is gonna look great. I got to put some of these down, actually. Uh, where's my scaffolding? Here we go again. Round two. There's water here. I didn't replace with lava. Um... There we go. Looking all right. Looking a bit better. No. 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 Dude. I hate creepers. I don't remember the pattern that I had. I, I was in a good spot, dude. Nope. That's not it. See, now I can't really put my finger on it. But it looks stupid. Maybe, maybe I spread the bones out a little bit to the side here. You know what? We'll just- maybe I'm being too critical. We'll just leave it like that. No, it doesn't look right. Alright, that doesn't look too bad. Now, back to the terraforming, or whatever you want to call it. Oh! We got a couple of these guys. How do I- can I make sure that you guys don't despawn somehow? Oh, I need name tags. I don't know if there's any point to this, because they might just- Alright, well, I've added some golden quartz, and now to just get rid of these, and I almost forgot to change this water, ow, into blood. Okay, I did not think that through at all. There we go. Alright, looks good. Now we've got this place starting to look like it means business. Portal still looks kind of silly in the midst of all that, but we'll fix that at the end of the video. But now we've got this side here, which I've actually thought of something. This nether fortress type thing. Well, it's a bridge. It's not a type thing. I need to learn how to speak for real. We can bring that through and have one of the legs of the nether fortress come down into the lava. And then we're going to have stuff around it like striders and little basalt blocks and, and oh man. Okay, let's go. And then this upper area here is also going to have to be turned into netherrack because... Well, it doesn't really make sense for this bridge to be going through stone. It's another bridge, not a stone. Excuse me? What does this actually look like in the nether? Are there blocks up here? Oh, this, the top part is nether. Okay, okay, I can do that. Hey, what? Nice one. Same thing's gonna happen with these ones. Let's try and prevent that from happening real quick. Oh my god. Let's try and build this up. I have a strong suspicion that I'm gonna need more than this. Oh, would you look at that? Yo, he's mad. <laughs> Yo, let's run. Let's run. We got. <laughs> bridge is finished. Now, when I turn this whole area into netherrack, it should look even better, which I think it does. Now, I have left this area here for everyone's favorite biome, the basalt deltas. <laughs> Everyone loves that place. It's not like you fall into lava every two steps, but I also did get a zombified piglin and I put the name tag on him, but I have no idea where he's gone. I'm assuming that guy is the culprit. Maybe. Not enjoyable to traverse and not enjoyable to build either. There you go, you just randomly kind of start placing these and then eventually it'll look like basalt deltas a little bit. Ooh. Oh my... Even in a fake basalt biome, it still happens. Well, this guy clearly feels right at home, so I'm gonna take that as a sign that I've done a pretty good job. Anyway, here we are. I've done all the walls. There's creepers up on... Okay, hang on. 
There we go, all the scaffolding is gone and I've finished the entire wall on the inside. It looks pretty brilliant. There's this tiny basalt biome here, which I actually don't mind considering how much I don't like this biome. It doesn't look too bad in there. And I've even done a little bit of this outside area right here. So above the bridge, next to the bridge and stuff, done some terraforming there. Speaking of, these two biomes need to be extended out. That one to there and then that one to under the bridge because right now this looks pretty uh, pathetic. <laughs> so uh, let me get to that. Anyway, here's the area which looks, I mean, oh, uh, wait, hang on. Yeah, that looks 10 times better. Wow. Now we're just gonna run around here and bone meal everything that we can. Ah, okay, my whole life just flashed before my eyes. What was that? Got one right here in the middle, one right here. Okay, it happened again. We definitely should not be shy with these because these biomes have a lot of trees usually. Ooh, nice. I think we could liven it up with a few animals though. So before we move on to the warped, I'm going to try and get a couple of hoglins in here. Hello guys. I can just, can I just grab the two of you? These guys get zombified. Do they continue growing into like the adult ones or let's hope so. I haven't actually finished construction of the bridge. So can you just bear with me for a moment, please? Okay. Okay. Yep. Well, that's what you got. That's what you get. It would be cool if they could not be on leads and then they just sort of like roam around and stuff, make it seem really cool, but I don't think that is an option. What if I do this? Does this work? Can I put a fence there? And then I you to that fence, put this back on. So that way the fence is invisible. In the meantime though, whilst we finish the rest of the project, I will leave these guys here and see if they actually do grow up. Now I've got the warped area that I need to try and outline. I think I'm gonna have it go past this side down to there and then I might just do it all the way to the lake, to be honest. Oh, I need to get rid of all these trees. Feels really, really wrong to leave all this spruce here, but there's actually a time and place where warp nylium is more valuable than spruce. Now this time I might actually, actually have enough. I have all of this here and then I have all of this in the shulker box. So for all of this beneath me, that should definitely be enough, right? All right, let's do it. There we go, it looks pretty good. This tree randomly, for some reason, went super tall into the air. And you know what? We're just gonna leave it there because if that's how the events unfold, then that's how they unfold. And I've put a lot of trees in this biome as well because that's kind of what it feels like in the real thing, right? Like there's just a lot of trees everywhere. And speaking of, actually, I need to put down lots of these because I've kind of forgotten about them, but they are a pretty big part of this biome. Let me just run around and place some of these. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can run back and bone meal them, even though I'm definitely going to miss some that I placed. And there we are. There's the outside done. I do need to light it up so that stuff stops spawning because the cave is now exposed. They can just come through here. But I'm really happy with the way that this turned out. This looks very cool. Uh, let me know what should go in here because I might actually do that some other time. What is he doing? He's beginning to believe. Oh! Now there's just a few more things that I need to do. All the nether waste parts I need to light on fire. So that up there and this in here. Now when I say light on fire, I don't mean just light everything on fire. I mean just put down some packs of pack of fire, pockets of fire, so that the place actually has that nice nethery, fiery nether fiery. I should stop. Oh, trees on fire. You know what? Maybe that adds to it. Having like half burnt or fully burnt trees around the nether because I guess it kind of wouldn't actually make sense for the trees to stay completely fine next to all that. Next up, before we move on to the portal, I just need to do some finishing touches and I'm going to try and recreate this exact pillar on the lava. And now if I take a look from up here, they're kind of at the same height, which is pretty unfortunate. I wanted one to be higher than the other. Oh, I'm trying so hard not to be lazy. I'm going to push this one in just a little bit here so that I can go up there to that ceiling. Nice. Okay, there we go. There, there. Now they're a little bit too close together. You know what, dude? If you're just walking through here... I'm gonna... I thought the Zoglins would have stayed because of the leads, but clearly they haven't. So I'm going to do the bridge so that I can bring more of them over. What slabs on top. There we go.
Double whammy. This guy's gonna follow me up and he's gonna come through the portal as well. <laughs> I should have left this guy without the saddle because now you cannot take it off. So it looks a little bit stupid. But uh, what are you gonna do? Am I really getting fired upon right now? You've got to be joking me. And an hour later, I've got the mobs in the lava pits as well as some zoglins. So there we go. Oh my. I've completely forgotten about a pretty important aspect of this whole nether area. It's glowstone. We need like a couple of packs of glowstone. One there, one up there, one there. Oh, wow. I mean, I am doing the final touches of the build, technically. So I could just pretend I didn't forget it. Yeah, let's just... Pretend I didn't forget the glowstone. I never did. No, no, it's um, I left it until now because we need to put some ancient debris down as well. Uh, uh oh, one there, some in the corner as well. And also going to make a little uh, like that. And I think, yeah, looks nice. But there we go. This place is looking pretty epic. We've got the soul sand, the nether waste, the little tiny basalt deltas biome. We've got striders and piglins and zoglins over here, as well as our two outside biomes. And then our nether fortress that actually goes into the inside of the cave, which this is definitely one of my favorite features. Now this looks great and all, but if you look at the nether portal, it just looks really out of place because it's terrible. So let me just fix that. Oh, dude, hang on. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Comparing that to this, I mean, there's just no competition. What am I even looking at? I mean, the outside is pretty cool, right? But if, if you just look at this whole inside area together, plus that new portal that looks incredible. Oh, wow. And then I can just fly through here if I really feel like it. I don't, there's no benefit to that, but, <laughs> but now this place looks really terrible. Mm. Wait, this guy is still just walking around the cave. I thought you would have been killed by the...